Hey guys, welcome back. What does that say? The darkness was here. Oh, the darkness wears her face. Oh. Whose face? The creepy woman in black? Who we've only actually seen that once. There's a page in there. Shadow stirred and the wind picked up as I ran through the forest. I felt the dark presence turning its gaze toward me. Then the moonlight was blotted out by dark shadows that raced violently across the ground, moving too swiftly to be natural. Darkness gathered between the trees and melted again to reveal the taken. No natural path had brought them here. Okay. Come on, come on, jump. This way? No? Ah, I see. What the hell? Well, that's just rude. regains automatically. Oh, that, that's nice. I thought it only did that in the light. But luckily, still no chainsaw, which is nice. Okay then, let's see what's in here. Falling trees apparently. Is a hazardous occupation. Oh shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. No, 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 no.
So I'm saving my flares for chainsaw people from now on. Unless he was the only one. Hopefully. So I have to go up there. I'll have a quick look around, see if there's any pages, any coffee. Nope. Groovy. Let's go. Sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Oh, is that where we're heading? I thought we were chasing the other guy. So we're heading back to our cabin. I still had to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. True. Coffee. Nothing, no. Um, to get the car from the locked garage it would get me back to Barry faster and the headlights were a welcome bonus yep so we need to open that gate somehow a key maybe oh swing I'm guessing in here no, this is the bathroom I had to find the key to the garage. Oh, a page. Almost missed that. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Hmm. We haven't even met Nightingale yet. Unless we have and I just don't remember him. Don't jump out at me. Ammo. I needed the garage key to get to the car. What is that noise? It's like a buzzing. Oh, it's the lights. The garage key had to be somewhere nearby. Got it. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Okay. Oh. I knew it. Oh, we can go in these. Hello. Nothing. Nope.
Okay, let's go. Wait, hold on. I'm just going to check the fence first up here. See if I missed anything. Uh, yeah, can't go through this. Okay. To the car. Reloading? We get to actually drive. Oh, that's cool. Um, which way are we had this one? Is that the same fallen truck that blocked me earlier? So the gas station is down. I really hope this is the right way. Oh, I can get out of the car. Oh, cool. So there must be stuff to collect. Alan would actually get there. There was no misunderstanding. Cauldron Lake was where Alice and I had stayed. But there was no cabin and no island. I was missing a week. What had happened to me? What had happened to Alice? I had to get her back. I couldn't face life without her. And that's what happened earlier. <laughs> back up to the car. Oh, come on. Barry? Alan. Ah, Barry Allen. The Flash reference. Come on. 
And this is where I was earlier. And the puppy is still there. Yeah, never mind. Continue on foot. Oh, what the hell? It's the car from the story, and I can hit those. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Nothing up here. Yeah, so that's the truck from the thingy mobile. The page. Bitch, where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. It's not done? I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. Not well. Uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Oh, great! The coal mine. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Oh my God! That is a lot of birds. Save Barry. And we got a flare gun. Cool. Oops, I did not mean to do that. So glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. Well then let me in. Um, why aren't you letting me in? Go away, please.
Thank you, Barry. Let me in. And I'm dead. Oh. Okay, I will admit I did awfully there. Oh, we can go over here. Supplies. How many of these birds are left? I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. She sounds Have a off. great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the old diner. Good girl. Oh, this bitch. <laughs> That's just creepy. Okay. So Am I gonna have to mute this music? Probably, because copyright infringement and all that. I had to with the first one. So that's the end of the second chapter, I presume.
Awesome. End of episode two. And I think that's a good place to leave it for now. So I shall see you all in the next episode. Uh, like, favour and subscribe and all that jazz. Hope you all have a nice day. And bye.